What is up, dudes? Lady dudes, welcome back to Just Nuts Guys. Today I got a small news video. Nothing crazy, but it is something that I wanted to throw out there because I think it's kind of exciting, at least this little piece right here. So, for the Jump Festa 2019, uh, players will be able to obtain event limited pack a event limited pack that includes five different cards, one of which is a new Dragon Link monster. Now, we don't know anything about the Dragon Link monster. Obviously, uh, this video would be way more hype if we actually knew what it is, but I think it's just excited that we know it's coming because I know Dragon is one of the most support archetypes of all time. It has a ton of uh, generic support, so even just like a, a, a semi solid generic Dragon Link monster could really boost any type of Dragon deck. Uh, the name of it is Armiral, Armoreal, the Star Guide Dragon. So I may not pr be pronouncing that right, but uh, that's about what it's called. It's a Link to Dark Monster with bottom left and bottom right arrows, and uh, Yu-Gi-Oh organization will will uh, release more information as it comes. But for right now, that's all we got. Other than that. We don't really know. It comes with, I guess, four other cards, but I don't know if the four other cards are going to be new or reprints or what. I have no idea what usually goes on at Jump Festa. Anyway, just want to touch on that real quick. And the only other piece of information here is Salamangray Beast Bison, or Beat Bison, sorry. Uh, first off, like, look at the art on this card. This card looks so cool. And it's coming in the Soul Burner Structure deck, which is really cool as well, because it seems like we're getting a decent, like, some decent cards for for uh, Salamangrates in this suck structure deck. It's a high-level Salamangrate designed to recycle your exhausted Link monsters. So, what he says is he's a level 8 fire cyber effect monster, pretty standard for Salamangrates. 2800 attack and 1000 defense, solid, solid attack there. And both effects are hard ones per turns. First effect says if you, there are three or more Salamangri monsters in your graveyard, you can special summon this card from your hand in defense position. Oh, why defense? Like, you can't even just plop this on as a beat stick. Oh, and, like, if you're going to be forced to summon defense, give it a decent defense stat. 1,000 is brutal. It is still a free monster on board. Second effect says you can target any number of fire link monsters in your graveyard up to the number of face-up cards your opponent controls, return them to the deck, then negate the effects of any number of face-up cards your opponent controls until the end of this turn up to the number of cards returned. Okay. Um, not a crazy effect, but I definitely could see it being relevant, especially in more grindy matches. Um, in a more grindy situation, just being able to get those back in it. If you play this at a hell, like a higher number, the the beat bison's bison, you could just play less copies of like links. You may not be forced to play three copies of any of the more important ones because you can just shuffle them back with this guy, um, which is pretty easy to do. So that's kind of interesting. Not on, and also it, it helps you kind of play through boards. Um, I mean, like if we're talking about a link board, you just bait out the like. This baits the Trigate because they're going to be forced to Trigate it, or if you already baited the Trigate, then you just negate the whole extra link. And if you can just put a couple big beat sticks on board after this, then you're just going to be able to just boom, 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 like run over your opponent's board. Um, so that's uh, it's an all right effect. Um, I think they're um, I think these are pretty interesting. This card's pretty interesting. I think it's a so still a solid card. I mean, regardless, even if you're like, oh, it summons in defense mode, that's kind of duty. Um, it only takes getting three Salamangrates in Grave, and with how fast they can spam, like, that's pretty easy, especially since you, like, you, a lot of times you make a link, and then link that into the same named link monster, so, like, it's really not hard at all. Um, so, like, setting up isn't that hard, it spams the board, I mean, like, this is, like, this card's better than some of the, like, the low-level ones that spam the board, I feel like, overall. At least it has, like, an extra little, like, recur, or, um what, like, resource management effect with, like, a little bit of, it's not stun, but I guess it's helping you break boards. Um, yeah, I think overall it's a pretty solid card. I mean, we're talking about a structure deck here, so it's not like we're getting, like, some busted new support. It's, like, it's coming in the structure deck. So I think this card's are pretty solid for, like, a structure deck card. But uh, let me know what you guys think about both of these. Let me know what kind of Link Monster you'd like to see, uh, what you'd like to see. If this is a, just a generic dragon monster... Link Monster, let me know what you'd want it to do. Be wary, don't make it too broken, but, uh, because dragons can definitely make use of a, of an 
if of, if Konami's too uncareful with that, Dragon players will definitely take advantage. But let me know what you think. And uh, thank you so much for watching, guys. Enjoy the rest of your Wednesday.